This video will show you how to find the axis of symmetry and the vertex of a parabola using your TI Inspire. Okay, from our home screen, let's open up a new document and add a graph. In f1 of x, we're going to enter our equation, which is 4x squared plus 8x minus 1 and hit enter so we can see our picture. Okay, you'll notice my a value was positive. That's the coefficient in front of the x. Right here it's positive. So my graph opens up, which means that I have a minimum that I need to go find. My vertex is right down here at the minimum. So let's trace our graph. Menu, trace, graph trace. You can see my cursor showed up right here, and let's move it towards the bottom. There's our minimum. It falls at negative 1, negative 5. So the vertex of this parabola is at the point negative 1, negative 5. The axis of symmetry is the vertical line that goes right through the vertex. So the vertical line that's going to go right through here, if you remember, vertical lines are all in the form x equals. My negative 1 is my x value, so the equation for the axis of symmetry is x equals negative 1. Let's try another one. A new document, and add a graph again. This time, let's graph negative x squared plus 4x. And hit Enter. You'll notice I had a negative right here in front of the x squared. So this time it opens down, which means my vertex is a maximum. Again, let's trace the graph. Menu, trace, graph trace. And we're going to move our cursor till we get to the top. And there's our maximum. 2, 4 is the point that is the maximum piece of this parabola. So my vertex is the point 2, 4. The axis of symmetry is the vertical line that goes through this vertex. My x value is a 2, so the axis of symmetry for this parabola is x equals 2.